Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I got an easy one for you. I'm going to show you how to make this easy single crochet beanie. Now this will fit about 21, 21 and a half inch head. And it is approximately, I'm going to say about seven and a half inches long. You can make it longer if you wish or shorter if you wish. It is done, it's top down. It is done in a continual round which means there is no slip stitching at the end of the round. You just work continually round and around, which eliminates any seam whatsoever. So you have a nice clean hat. Bit time consuming, but worth it to have a seamless hat. I like it. Plus the stitches are a lot tighter to give you more warmth. So what do you say? You wanna go ahead and get started on it? Let's do this. Okay, for this project, I am using Caron Simply Soft Speckle. What this is, is a 100% acrylic, medium weight number four. The color I have is called Galaxy. Now you do not have to use this yarn. Any medium weight number four yarn will work. There are 235 yards. In this skein, this is what I have left. So I'm gonna estimate that you're gonna need about approximately 175 yards to complete this hat. And a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. All right, so we wanna start off as always, with a slip knot on our hook. And now we're going to start with a chain of three. And we're going to slip stitch and the first stitch to form a ring. Now, if you choose to use a magic circle here, that's fine. That'll work too. And now we are going to chain one. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. What we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing an easy hat this time. We're going to work six single crochets through the center of that ring. Remember that chain one don't count as anything. So let's just pretend like he's not there. And we're going to go ahead and work six single crochets through the center. And there's six. So now you can usually pull that your tail and close up that circle a little bit more and then at the end we can sew it together. So we're going to be working in a continual round which means we will not be slip stitching to join our rounds. We're going to go round and around and around and the hat will not have a seam. So by doing that we're going to need a stitch marker. I'm just going to use this piece of yarn here and I'm going to put it right here after that last single crochet that I just did. Now what I'm going to do is jump over to the first single crochet, not the chain one, don't go into that chain one, the first single crochet that I did, and I'm going to work two single crochets into that same stitch. And now I'm going to work two singles in every stitch all the way around. And this is round two that we're on. So two in that one, two in the next, and we want to do this until we reach our stitch marker. Now, once I made it to my stitch marker at the end of round two, if you count back, you'll have a total of 12 stitches now. So we're gonna go ahead and pull our marker out and move it up. And we're gonna go around again for round three. Now this time we are going to put one single crochet into the next stitch. And then two singles into the next. And that'll be our repeat now for round three. One single into the next stitch, and then two singles into the next. And we're going to work this pattern all the way around until we get back to our stitch marker. One single 
into the next and two singles into the next I'll go ahead and finish out here since I'm almost there Okay, your last stitch should have two single crochets into in it. And that'll end round three once you make it back to your stitch marker. And now you'll have a total of 18 stitches. So now we're going to begin round four by moving our stitch marker up. And now we're going to put one single crochet into the next two stitches. So there's one in that one one in the next one and then two into the next and that's what we're going to repeat now again one single crochet into the next two stitches there's one there one in the next and then two into the next so we're going to keep repeating this uh, one single one single two singles all the way until we get back to our stitch marker All right, I've made it to the end of round four your last stitch should have had two single crochets in it And now you should have a total of 24 stitches stitch marker up and we'll go around again for round five Round five is going to be one single crochet into the first or into the next three stitches so there's one two, three, and then two single crochets into the next. And that's what we'll repeat for round five. One single into the next three, one, two, three, and then two singles into the next. So I'm gonna repeat this pattern all the way around until I make it back to my stitch marker. All right, I made it to the end of round five. 30 stitches now. Two, you should end it with two single crochets there. At your last stitch, move your marker up and we'll start round six. And we're gonna do a one single crochet into the next four stitches. I bet you already knew that though. So one single crochet into the next four. And two single crochets into the next. And we, we're going to go ahead and repeat that now for round six. One single crochet into the next four. Two singles into the next. And I'm going to work this repeat all the way around until I get back to my stitch marker. All right, I come to the round six. I ended with two single crochets again. 36 stitches now. It's okay if it's kind of pointy looking and um, not round looking. <laughs> it'll, it'll all work out in the end. So we're going to start round seven and we're going to pull all the marker up. And now we're going to put one single crochet into the next five stitches. And then two single crochets oops, into the next. And that'll be the repeat for round seven. One single into the next five. And two singles into the next. So I'm going to continue with this repeat until I get back to my uh, stitch marker. All right, I've come to the end of round seven. I, again, I ended in two single crochets, 42 stitches now. Go ahead and move your stitch marker up and we'll start round eight. And we're gonna put one single crochet into the next six stitches.
and then two single crochets into the next so that's what i'm going to repeat now one single crochet into the next six and two single crochets into the next all the way around until i make it back to my stitch marker okay i've made it to end around eight you ended in two single crochets in that last stitch 48 stitches now i'm going to move our marker up and we'll start out with round nine which is going to be one single crochet into the next seven. Two singles into the next. So that's what I'm gonna repeat now for round nine one single into the next seven stitches and then two singles into the next all the way around until I get back to my stitch marker All right, I've made it to the end of round nine and we'll have 54 stitches now. We're gonna move that stitch marker up. Again, you ended in your two single crochets in that last stitch. We're gonna start round 10, one single crochet into the next, into the first or the next eight stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. One single crochet into the next eight stitches. And then two single crochets into the next. And we'll go ahead and repeat this pattern all the way around again until we make it back to our stitch marker. All right, I've made it to the end of round 10, 60 stitches. We end it with two singles again. We're going to do it again for round 11. One single crochet into the next nine stitches. two single crochets into the next. So that's the repeat now for round 11. One single crochet into the next nine and then two singles into the next all the way around until we get back to our stitch marker. All right, I've made it to the end of round 11. We got two stitches there at the end. So what is it starting to look like? It's okay if it looks a little funky. One more round of increases and then it's all downhill from there. So let's go ahead and move our marker up. You should have a total of 66 stitches at the end of round 11. So what we're going to do now is one single crochet into the next 10 stitches. two singles into the next and that's what we're going to repeat now for round 12. One single crochet into the next 10 and two single crochets into the next all the way around to our stitch marker. All right I have made it to the end of round 12. 72 stitches now this is what it looks like. You know it looks doesn't look like a circle that's okay we're gonna make it look like one now what we're gonna do no more increasing we're gonna pull our stitch marker up now from here on out it's going to be one single crochet in every 
stitch. So starting around the 13 will be the repeat round. So we're just going to work our way around putting one single crochet in every stitch until we get back to our stitch marker. And when we make it back to our stitch marker, we're just going to move it up. So you'll still have 72 stitches now. All the way down, you're always going to have 72 stitches. We'll just move our marker up and then we'll continue along doing more rounds of one single crochet in every stitch. The more rounds you do, the more you'll start to see your hat take shape and form a hat. So, I'm going to continue. I'm on round 13 now. I'm going to keep going and when I get to the end I'll have my 72. I'll move my marker up. I'll start on round 14 doing the same thing. One single crochet in every stitch. I'm going to work rounds and rounds and rounds of single crochet moving my marker up at the end of every round until I get my hat as long as I want it to be. Now you know what? I'm not quite sure how many rounds that's going to take me but I'm just going to keep going and I'll let you know here in just one second how many total rounds I do to complete my hat. Remember, just rounds and rounds, moving your stitch marker up, one single in every stitch, always from here on out, 72 stitches. All right, a little time consuming, but I finished it. I did a total of 36 rounds. Now you can do more or less if you want. That's completely up to you. You can do more and make it slouchy. You can do more to make it where it folds. You can do less to make it shorter. Whatever your heart desires. But once you have finished making it as big as you would like. And you made it back to your stitch marker. Which I have done here. Give me a second here. What you want to do is go ahead and take that stitch marker out. And we will end by slip stitching into the next stitch. Like that. And then we can clip our yarn. And we can hide any remaining tails. That's it. That's all there is to it. Hide this tail up in here. Hide this tail. And you're good to go. Easy hat. Looks pretty cool though on that yarn. I got. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my tutorial. This would be good for a man or a woman. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, check out all my other uh, tutorials too. Uh, if you look over on the right hand side of the screen, I will put a playlist of all my tutorials. Yeah, I got hundreds and hundreds of tutorials. Pretty much anything you could ever want or ever dream of. <laughs> I got it. Probably multiples of it too. So if you get a minute, check that out. And like I said, if you enjoyed this, uh, give me a thumbs up. And also, if you make this or anything else for my tutorials, I always enjoy seeing pictures. You can um, hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and show me your pictures. There's links to both of those accounts below in the description box. And that's it. Until next time, have a good day.